what's popping YouTube. You already know Splash coming in. It's been a little minute since I've been on. No laptop for a month. But now I'm back on it. Got my new shit today. But that's basically been me. I've been I'm still grinding, still doing me, you know, still single. But um <laughs> I was came because I I glanced upon a random video today. One of my friends YouTube, and you know how I'd be having the random videos that you would like section. So I see X Homo. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? So I, YouTube so addicting. I clicked it, and I was like, all right, let me listen to this girl's story. It's a stud. She calls herself Fresh. Well, that's what she is called. Shout out to Mr. Freshman, though. No, that's my nigga. Um, so, a little bit of video. She was talking about how basically trials and tribulations that was in her life. It led to her giving up homosexuality. She sees that, I guess, this was the reason why she went through certain situations in life and because everything happened all at once that she went through she explains it in her testimony i'm just gonna i'm gonna post this as a response i might put a link somewhere give her some free promo but i feel that the situations i went through in life ain't because i'm gay because i was going through them in any situation, any kind of stress. I think God is testing me when he says, you know, like, okay, you have to go through this, bus so that you, so I can show you that you're better than this. Or I can show you, you should have took another way. I don't see it as my lifestyle has to do with what I'm doing in life. Because my dreams and my aspirations, what I'm doing, has nothing to do with my lifestyle. That's just my preference. And this is where she says that, you know, she was reading up. None of the apostles or disciples had anybody. There was no relationships. But how, how did, this just came to me just now. How uh, do they have the section about who's begotten of who? Of course, God believes in monogamy, so they had to be in relationships. Yeah, they had their relationship with God first they put it first yes I agree with her on that but they did have relations outside of God because then there would be no other person there would be no nation as we have today and as as I like thought about it more and more I was just like remembering because I grew up in Catholic high school, and I went to a Baptist middle school. I'm Baptist, though. I went to Catholic high school. And in my Catholic high school, my religious teacher, he is a theologist, and he's a very good teacher. Mr. Polito, I had to shout you out. He always told us, you know, God didn't write the Bible. Jesus didn't write the Bible. These are tales of other people eyewitness accounts that's what he told us and which I believed in and he always told us never take the Bible literally take it contextually now speaking of a man who is of God that is a very strong statement you might think okay I'm I'm not denouncing God or I'm not denouncing this is what he said but I would never know like, I'm never going to figure this out. It's just what I believe. I respect what she believes, you know, in her sayings. But I still go by it. Don't take it so literally. I take it contextually. Because when you take the Bible literally, you become hypocritical. But you're supposed to be a Christian. You're not supposed to judge others. So why should a lifestyle, although in the Bible, you know, it says man should not live with man and so forth. But doesn't that become 
judgmental? Does that make God a hypocrite? Supposedly? I think it's all about belief. If she has some kind of enlightenment that chose her not to be gay anymore or whatever that happened, I respect her view, but I just don't agree. I'm being respectful the utmost because I don't like judging people and I show people respect and I think they should show it to me back. So. I'm not trying to play her in any way. I just don't agree. Because we can't be hypocritical. God says don't judge others. But of course says don't lay man with man. Supposedly in the Bible. So how does that work? That's the only reason why I don't like the whole church situation. Some are liberal and some are open. Some believe once a child of God you are a child of God. And yes, I have been baptized if she does ask me. If she responds. I have been baptized. But I don't think it defines me that because I'm homosexual that's why I go through the certain trials and tribulations. It's all a test to me. God has tested me. Like I know you're stronger. You can make it through this situation. Even if it's everything coming in at me at once. I'm still here. I haven't left. I haven't chosen any kind of route to leave this world until he's ready for me to leave. I've never been in trouble. I keep my, myself out of trouble. I'm very educated. So, that's basically my thoughts on the whole situation. I can't get the whole ex homo. Yes, prayer didn't work, but, and she says, Somebody responded back and she said that all the prayer didn't help her to diminish her sexual desires for women. And Fresh asks, did you really believe in God? Did you really believe in prayer? Of course I believe in God. But did that make me less of his child because I choose to be homosexual? I don't just wear a Jesus piece to wear it. I don't just wear a rosary to wear it. I wear it because I choose to. And I believe in it. I Only God can judge me on my back. Does that make me less of a, his child? Because I do have sexual desires for women? Well, hit me back with your comments. Let me know what you think. Because that shit blew mine this morning. I was like, oh, hell no. But now, we're going to keep rocking out. And today, y'all can see, got that all black everything on. So I'm going to just play a little snip of the Soldier Boy song. Because that nigga get it. And y'all can hate, but Soldier Boy is the shit. All black every Soldier Boy. All black every Soldier Boy. All black every Soldier Boy. All black every Legendary black beautiful girls running numbers in my blackberry. All black fellas, bro. Every 